Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to read you a story about how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. And then after the story, we're going to make our very own butterfly. So put on your listening ears and let's get ready for the story. Caterpillar to Butterfly. A pretty orange, black, and white butterfly lands on a flower. This butterfly is called a monarch, and it lands on a milkweed. Monarch butterflies lay eggs on milkweed plants. The monarch butterfly's eggs hatch in four days, and then out climbs a tiny caterpillar. The hungry little caterpillar eats milkweed leaves. It grows bigger and bigger. The big striped caterpillar is finished growing. Now it attaches itself to a twig using a pad of silk. Look at the shape of the caterpillar. What letter does it look like? That's right, it looks like the letter J. The caterpillar turns into a special hard shell called a chrysalis. Here it is when it's full chrysalis. The caterpillar changes into a monarch butterfly inside the chrysalis. Another name for a chrysalis is pupa. The new butterfly crawls out of the chrysalis. The monarch butterfly's wings are folded and soft. The caterpillar changed into a butterfly in about 10 days. The butterfly stretches its wings as they grow stronger. The pretty orange and black butterfly flies away. Monarch butterflies visit flowers to drink sweet juice called nectar. So let's see if you can remember the different stages of the butterfly. So first it's an egg, and then do you remember what pops out of that little egg? A tiny caterpillar, and then after it becomes a big caterpillar that forms a chrysalis and turns into a beautiful butterfly. And that's the life cycle of a butterfly, a caterpillar to a butterfly. Now, let's make a beautiful butterfly of our own. Hi, boys and girls. Okay, so we're going to make a pretty butterfly. Now, I have some cutouts of butterflies, but if you don't, you can take a piece of paper, fold it in half, draw the letter B, or have mommy or daddy draw the letter B, and then you cut it out, and when you open it, you'll have a butterfly, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our butterfly, fold it in half. This reminds me of our, it looked like spilt milk activity we did. Because if you noticed in our book, the butterfly, its wings, they have the same pattern on both sides. They're symmetrical, they're the same on both sides. So we wanna do that for our butterfly. And the way we can do that is we fold it, open it up, and we're going to put paint only on one wing. So you can put um, drops of paint. You can use a dropper. You can use a spoon. You can just squirt it right out of your bottle like Mrs. Wade's doing. And just drop it on one side of the wing. Okay? And let's see what happens. All right, so see, I have it on one side. Now I'm going to fold my wing onto the other and I'm going to blend it again. I'm gonna just rub it gently so all that paint can come together and let's see if it worked. Ready, I'm gonna open my butterfly. Look how beautiful. The wings are symmetrical. They're the same on both sides. Let's try it again. Let's use the yellow bee butterfly, I believe. All right, so I'm gonna put a little white on this one. And some yellow. Some pink. That pink doesn't wanna come out, it's stubborn. 
blue and red. All right, let's see. We're going to fold it over and rub gently and check it out. Ooh, look at this one. Yeah, let's do one more. Okay, let's check it out. Ready? Fold it. Drop some. I'm going to drop a couple of different spots this time. These are the colors I happen to have at home, this paint. So this is what I'm working with. Ooh, let's see what happens to that. Did you see what I did? I dropped the yellow paint right on the blue paint. Let's see what happens. That might be a little tricky. Let's check it out. Cool. That's a beautiful one. So I hope you have some fun making some butterflies of your own. Bye, my friends. I miss you.